Hello, in this video we study a new class of functions called exponential functions. Uh, for example, y equal to 2 dx is an exponential function. And uh, so first we plot this function uh, by uh, choosing some points. For example, so if x is negative 2, then we have 2 to the negative 2, which is basically 1 over 2 to the positive 2, which is 1 over 4. And then when x is minus 1, is the same way 2 to the negative 1, so a negative exponent becomes 2 to 1 over 2 to the positive exponent, which is just 1 half. And when it's 0, in, when x is 0, 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 1 will be 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And then 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and so on. So I will plot this point here. So when x is a negative 2, uh, y is a quarter. And when x is a negative 1, we have a half. When x is 0, is 1. When x is 1, will be 2 power of 1 is 2. When x is 2, we have 4. Then we connect this point. And we have this exponential function with the base 2, 2 to the x. Notice how quickly the value of this function, uh, for example, f of 3, will be equal to 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and for example f of 30 which I have it written here 2 to the power of 30 is equal 1 0 7 3 7 4 1 8 24 so look how uh, quickly this number grows so that's why we say something that uh, grow fast we say it grows exponentially uh, and if we want to compare this with the function, for example, I'll call it g, g of x equal x square. So f g of 30, for example, uh, which is 30 square, it's equal 900. So as you see, when x is 30, uh, the exponential functions grow very, very large versus x square. So keep that in mind. So first we plotted the 2 to the x. Now, if you want to see how 2 to the negative x look like, so remember, we see here that uh, uh, 2 to the x is, uh, 2 to the negative x is the same as 1 over 2 to the x, because uh, it's the same as 1 over 2 to the x, which is 1 over 2 to the x. So if we plot this point as well, it's going to be, when x and then 2 to the negative x so if we choose the same same point negative 2 so here we have basically 2 to the negative negative 2 which is 4 negative 1 will be 2 to the negative negative 1 which is just 2 0 again everything to power 0 is 1 and then 1 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 half, and then 2, it will be 2 to the negative 2, which is 1 quarter. And if we plot this point, then again, if 1, you'll have a half, and then a, a 2, when x is 2, you have a quarter, 1. So it's kind of like it's a uh, a reflection with respect to the to the y-axis so plotting this point here we have 2 to the negative x so as we see here uh, this is give us a good uh, way of uh, looking at these uh, two functions so we have 2 to the power of x is gonna grow as x goes to infinity it's gonna grow faster so we call it an exponential growth 2 to the negative x is going to start uh, uh, declining, getting smaller and smaller, so we call it uh, 
decay and exponential decay so it's gonna get smaller and smaller so let's see now how to uh, plot functions uh, without graph functions without plotting point but just by using transformations so for example the graph of y equal 2 to the x plus 1 or the 2 to the x minus 1 as we see here in in uh, in black this is the graph of 2 to the x so the graph of 2 to the x here is the x axis and this is the y axis uh, the graph of uh, 2 to the x so as we see it still has the same as we saw earlier the y-intercept is 0 1 and the asymptote is the uh, x-axis or y equals 0 and again the domain of 2 to the x so let me call it um, f of x so for the graph f of x equal 2 to the x the domain is from negative infinity to infinity uh, the range will be from 0 to infinity and it has a horizontal asymptote which is y equal to 0 so this is for the function 2 to the x now if we want the other function let me call it g of x equal 2 to the x and then plus 1 so what, what we do is we're gonna shift it one unit up one unit up, upward one unit so this uh, y intercept now at 0 1 become the y intercept here at one unit and become 0 2 so this function here in blue is the 2 to the x plus 1. Let me call it g of x. 2 to the x plus 1. So the domain, it's still all real numbers. But the range changes as we see now. The range is going to be from 1 and up. 1 to infinity. And the horizontal asymptote, it becomes instead of y equals 0, it was also shifted one unit. So it's y equal to 1. And for the uh, other function, let me call it h of x, which is 2 to the x minus 1. So as we see, we're going to bring the function 2 to the x uh, one unit down. And uh, we have it graphed here in green, which is 2 to the x minus 1. And as we see, the x-intercept and the y-intercept become 0, 0. And we have the domain the same. It's all real numbers. But for the range, it changes. It becomes negative 1 to infinity. And the horizontal asymptote is y equal negative 1. So we graph all this, uh, these two new functions by using transformation. So we took 2 to the x and add one unit up or one unit down. We're going to see another transformation, this one called uh, uh, shifting up or down, but we're going to see the other transformation here of this function. We have the function y equal 2 to the power of x plus 1 or y equal 2 to the power of x minus 1. So as we see here in black again, this is the 2 to the x. And so here is the y-intercept. So we still have the domain all real numbers from negative infinity to infinity. And the asymptote, horizontal asymptote is the x-axis. And so now if we want to graph 2, let me call it f of x equal 2 to the x plus 1. So all in the exponent. All what we do, we're going to shift the uh, function f of x, uh, uh, the function 2 to the x. Uh, we're going to shift it. So if it is positive, we shift it to the negative side, to the uh, left one unit. So this is the function of 2 to the x plus 1. 
and again you could just try when x is 0 f of 0 would be 2 to the power of 0 plus 1 which is just 2 so when x is 0 we become 2 right here and that's why we shifted basically the this point was shifted to the left one unit and for the other function uh, let, let me call it g of x equal 2 to the x minus 1 so when we have a negative we're going to shift to the right one unit one unit to the right so this one plus one shift to the left one unit and this one you shift to the right one unit so this one was shifted this way one unit so this is two to the x negative one and again the domain of this function here will be negative infinity to infinity the range is zero to infinity and the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero so for both of them is the same i hope this video is helpful